Hey, how's it going? I, uh, this is scrap paper. This is scrapbook paper, I should say. Uh, I'll show you a piece. I have one right here. I can get a grip. <laughs> get a grip. This is a piece of scrapbook paper. See, it's very, it's, and I would say that's copy paper. Like, it's one sided. And,. This is just a, another design, and I'll show you what it really looks like, sorta. <laughs> it looks like this, with the leaves and whatnot, right? So the other night, I'm gonna say it was probably less than a week ago, I was powering down from working in Blackboard. Uh, you know, sometimes I just have to take a break. I just have to stop for the night or for me the morning and, you know, power down, watch a couple of videos on YouTube and then read and go to bed. So I was thinking, I have, I've had this thought in my head for a while and I was thinking, I wonder if I can take scrapbook paper like this and make kind of faux leather out of it. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to try it. So, you know, I didn't have anything better to do. I was trying to wind down. I should not do crafting when I'm trying to wind down because it kind of wakes me up. So what I did was I took the piece of paper like this. I, I, It's 12 by 12, and well, obviously this isn't. And I cut it down, cut it in half. So now it's what? <laughs> do the math. Damn, we can't do the math. Six by six by six. Hello, <laughs> six by six. And what I did was I I crumpled it up, as you can see, crumpled it up, right. And then I took my uh, water with vegetable glycerin in it, and I sprayed it. You know, saturated it, and then uh, carefully crumpled it up again and then spread it out and sprayed it some more and then uh, in the, I think on the second crumple it started to tear so that's why this one is only four about four inches <laughs> because it tore at the edges like a lot tore a lot this is Canson watercolor paper it's I don't think it's 140 pounds it's way too thin for that uh, but I'm gonna use the small size the small the small the smooth side. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see it this way. There are, where are they? Well, there's a, there's a rip right there a little bit right there. And let me see if I can, oh yeah. <laughs> right here, there, there are holes in this one. It's kind of hard to see. I thought maybe you could see it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you could see it. See the floor or whatever. No, you can't really. But if you if you shine it up to the light, you can see it. And I'm thinking, I was just looking at it right before I came. I was like, oh man, there are holes. Oh, this is the one that I <laughs> unsuccessfully tried to turn into faux leather. Now this does have that distressed look, and it is kind of cool. What I wanted to do, and as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking, oh, I wanted to get <laughs> parchment paper. I want to cover this with Mod Podge. So what I did, so this has already been covered with water and vegetable glycerin, of course, and it went right through like your typical oily water <laughs> look, uh, but it has since dried. It's been a while. Then I took the other piece because I had two of these, uh, two of these, uh, and I, I said, okay, I cannot... Uh, I obviously I cannot do the crumple and spray or spray and crumple or anything like that with this because it's just paper. I can do it with uh, like paper towel tubes I cut apart or something or the Fancy Feast uh, chipboard that I have which is really really thin chipboard like uh, uh, thick cardstock like really thick cardstock. It's not the chipboard standard basic chipboard is thicker. It's like a, a millimeter, two millimeters thick or something like that, I think. 
and uh, but the fancy fee stuff that I usually have on hand all the time, I don't have it here right now, is this thickness right here. It's about like that, maybe a little thicker. Uh, that works great because I have a video, 100 things video. I don't know what number it is. I'll put maybe put a little caption in the video when I get it to editing. And that works perfectly on really, you know, that thick cardboard. But on paper, no. <laughs> that's, a, that's a no. So what I want to do is I'm going to cover this with Mod Podge right here on camera. Yep. How many times have you seen somebody slap some <laughs> Mod Podge on on paper? Actually, I just got done watching Pam from the Paper Outpost, and that's exactly what she did, too. <laughs> she, she just slapped it on. I think she called slopped it on, but whatever. So I'm going to do that, make my brush a little bit wet so I can maybe cover cover the paper better, faster, whatever, I don't know. I don't know this being fast forward if I get it to editing, you know, my editor, who is yours truly, by the way. <laughs> I don't have the, the money to hire a, an editor. Uh, I don't know if down the road when I get this to editing, if I'll be uh, fast forwarding through or something like, oh, too long, too long, oh, you're going to have to do it. It just depends, you know. I have something else to show you besides this, so, and it's related to this. So this was, this was a no-go, and I took the other sheet, I'm going to make that a little, a little bit wet. I know I have to be careful because it's just paper, and it's already holy, holy paper, right? But, you know, I want to slop it on, <laughs> just like Pam said. And it's hard to stay, it doesn't stay in place. I put a little paper, a little paper, a little water on my brush. Be careful, Tammy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, if it tears, you know, I got a couple more sheets I can... I can demonstrate the process if you want me to. The fail. I was not on camera. I was um, I was just trying to watch videos, trying to power down, like I said. And after my, was that a bug? What was that? Get away! Yeah, it bugged me the whole. Excuse the pun. The whole time I've been sitting here doing other videos, watching videos and whatnot. Okay, so that's. That and uh, oh yeah, I forgot all about that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let that sit. I am not gonna go off camera to let it dry. I'm just going to move things around a smidge and move that up. I'm gonna move it this way. Hope the cats don't come over here because it's daylight over there. It's something in the morning <laughs> it's 8 16 a.m. okay so the next one I had remember I have like a second six by six sheet and the next one I decided okay don't crumple it uh, I, no I crumpled it I crumpled the second sheet but I did not spray it with uh, the water and vegetable glycerin what I did was I crumpled it and I covered it with this, which is Tim Holtz Micro Distress Glaze. And then I took a paper towel and I buffed it out. And then uh, I let it sit for a, just a little bit, not, I guess, kind of drying time. It's not really something that you allow to dry because this is, this is just... Uh, lip balm. That's what it is. It doesn't have any scent at all to it. It doesn't even smell like white petrolatum, which, and I strongly suspect that that's in there. It's white petrolatum lip balm. I think it was uh, Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafts. I think she was saying, hey, you want to make your own 
uh, micro distress glaze or distress glaze or whatever just use lip balm <laughs> and I'm like I knew it but you know when I bought this I bought a three pack and I actually got a pretty good deal on it from Amazon I don't know right now if the, if it would be a good deal or even if it's in stock but at the time that I bought this which was last year 2019 uh, I got a good deal and I thought, oh, I'm going to get it. And the reason I bought it was because I did some research on how to seal watercolor pictures. And uh, I did not want to use the, the toxic fumes of spray, you know, of varnish or whatever it is, shellac. <laughs> what What is, I don't know, the seal that comes in the, the spray can. I didn't want to use that. I wanted to use something that wasn't going to bowl me over with the fumes. And this, this was the ticket. I was like, oh. And it even says it too. It says it here. Uh, apply over artwork with finger buff away excess with a dry paper towel. Now what if your, if, what if your artwork is 18 by 24 inches? That's, <laughs> man, you're going to have to use a really big finger. Maybe one of those uh, sports fingers, you know. The <laughs> Maybe not. Anyway, so what I did was uh, I did another one. So this is the, the other one. So this one is, and then I sealed it after I buffed it, buffed out the glaze and stuff as much as possible. And I thought, well, that's pretty good, you know, but <laughs> it doesn't have that enough of the shine to it that I kind of want. So I took Mod Podge and I Mod Podge this whole thing. And then I had a spot right here and I, it was white. I was like, what is that spot? It's white. So I took a, oh, I can show you. I took, I took it, where is it? Oh, it's gone. I just had it. I took a marker, a permanent marker, a Stadler permanent marker. I'm going to find it. Oh, I have it right here. Right here, I've been moving things around. That's what I get. <laughs> That's what I get, moving stuff around. Okay, I use this brown marker. It is a permanent marker. And this is uh, what it comes from. And I kind of just touched it right there, and it started to bleed. And I thought, oh, that's not Mod Podged. And that's not sealed or anything. It's right straight up on paper underneath the brown. Uh, underneath this brown is white. Not just from the inside, mind you. But this is a layer and this is a layer. So I thought, now what am I going to do? So I'm going to show you. I'm gonna put these two out and show you show you the difference. Uh, it's not just that there's a shine to this, but it's that these leaves are they're darker, and it's not because of the Mod Podge. It's because of this. So what I did was I had to make up for this big brown dot, <laughs> which was which stood out more than the little tiny white dot. Leave well enough alone. I just can't do it. <laughs> so I just kind of traced around and redrew the leaves as best as I could. And I thought, wow, that looks really good. <laughs> that looks better than this one. So that's what I did. And that was after, by the way, after I put the Mod Podge on. So this is not coming off. It's perfectly fine so that's good that's good to know for those markers and and then this side I covered with uh, also scrapbook paper and I tore it up and did a collage of this and then not too right before turning on the camera tonight I took this art and fly uh, alcohol ink marker, uh, the chisel, not the chisel end, the brush end, and I touched up all the white spots. There were a lot of white spots here, not just from the torn paper, but little spots that I missed that I didn't, you know, cover with the paper. And so I thought, hmm, I want to cover that up. It, it's kind of, it's just too white for me to, you know, like, popping out like that. 
And so let me kind of mute, <laughs> mute that white a little bit. And what I did was I put all this down and then I covered it. What is that? Is that it? <laughs> what? How, how did I notice that that was, that that was what? It's like a little puddle there. <clears throat> what I did was I just covered it with Mod Podge and let it dry for uh, almost a week, I think it was. And then tonight I took this and put it on there. And this also will not come off. So that's great, right? It doesn't come off. <laughs> so this one is a journal cover. And also, I, before I did all the Mod Podging sealing, I, I folded these because to me, it, this just seemed like it was too too big. So I thought, oh, I'm going to fold these in. And then when I do put pages in, uh, I can use these as kind of book book markers or jackets, you know, like the jacket, <laughs> book jacket. Yeah, and when will I put pages in and will I do that on camera? And I'll probably be sewing it. <laughs> I always pause when I say that because I'm like, I hate, I hate sewing. I can do it. I just, I just don't like doing it. So I'll be sewing it with some book binding needle that I have. Uh, but I, I don't have my papers ready. And so this is what, what I want to try is I want to try uh, just, I want to try crumpling this paper on camera and then just covering it with Mod Podge. I'm <laughs> just thinking about like, can we need? <laughs> excuse, excuse the reach here. Woo! What does Tammy need? Can you tell her? She needs parchment paper. I don't want to go get some. I know I have it, but it's way, way over there behind me. Anyway, hold on. Oh, I need it to be small, or I need a bigger piece. I need a piece of parchment paper. How about, wait, wait, but wait, there's more. Wait, I'm not teaching propaganda right now. <laughs> That's a propaganda technique. Uh, just a minute. I'm going to use my silicone mat from Fiskars. This mat, there's, there's stuff on that, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, how's our stuff on there? Oh, it kind of flakes right off, it does. Uh, anyway, what I was saying is this mat has like a gritty feel to it. And I have no idea why. That's, that's how it was. I first ever pulled it out after buying it. Pulled it out of that box. It's weird. I can't explain it. Okay, so I'm going to put those over here. This is still drying. All right. And... That's cool. Come on, come on. Get it off. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't get it off. So, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to crumple it, and then I'm going to put Mod Podge on it. Right, so I'm gonna be very careful when I tear it. When I tear it, <laughs> when uh, so I don't tear it. I'm gonna be very careful when I untangle this or take it apart. Slowly, slowly. This might be annoying. I don't know if this sounds annoying. I hope it's not to you. If you watch it, it might be less annoying. You know, it's like, uh, like I'm talking to my friend on uh, on the phone, and she's doing something, making all this noise in the background. I'm like, what are you doing? And I have to know what she's doing so that I can associate the sound with what she's doing so it doesn't bother me as much. <laughs> Does that make sense to anybody? That makes perfect sense to me. So if you know, if you watch this, oh, she's just crink crinkling paper, you might might be easier for you to say, okay, it's not so bothersome. But if you're not, you know, if you're doing a craft or something, which I you can totally do if you want to. I don't mind. 
I do that a lot. Actually, when I was watching Pam's video, I was working on something. Well, I was working on the this. I was coloring in the the green there, the teal. I need a little bit more crinkleness up there. Okay. Do you think it is sufficiently wrinkled there? Do you I see this is like this part right here or something? Okay. <coughs> okay, Tammy. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> why am I doing that? Because I want those wrinkles there. Yeah. You know what? I forgot to shake this the last time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I'm a slob. Because this I'm just on break right now. I'm on a break. And what better way to take a break, you know, than to craft or hack something. This is a hack, right? Can you hack it? Faux leather book covers using scrapbook paper. That's a lot of that's a lot of moisture there, Tammy. A lot of water. I might do is I might resort to using my finger here to do this. As long as you can see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> if you're crafting, look up every once in a while and see what is she doing? Maybe this is ASMR for you. I don't want to speak if it's ASMR. More. I'm starting to move over this way, close to the edge of my silicone mat. Now, see, that's what I did. Oh, don't do that, Tammy. <laughs> I took a little bit, it's gone, I don't know where it is, a little bit of the brown paper off, I must have put my finger down here or something in, on that other one, that's okay, I know how to fix it, <laughs> or maybe I'll just, after Mod Podge, <clears throat> when I put the brown alcohol ink marker on there, it's going, the ink is going to be lighter than what you saw here much lighter. As a matter of fact, when I did this, it was in slightly less bright lighting, and I thought I was black on there. I was like, is that black? Is that, is that black ink? I had to actually turn on the fluorescent light that I have on right now to, to see... Oh no, that's brown. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay. Another thing that I was going to do with this one was I was going to try to take, look at that, I think that's, uh, Wink of Stella and add a little glitteriness to this. <laughs> but I don't know, where was that piece there? There's a little piece sticking up right there. Hold, please. That's that annoying? <laughs> okay, there were a couple pieces I had to glue back into place. <clears throat> so I thought, ooh, maybe I should take the Wink of Stella. I haven't used that in a while. And add it. I have the Spectrum Noir. Noir. <laughs> I, have, uh, I even have Zig glue pens. I should have tried that. I could have tried that. Uh, but I have here, these are the Wink of Stella ones. Do I have teal? Mm, no. Might have to use clear and see if the clear would. There's not even the, the, the black ones. The SN. <laughs> We're just going to say SN because I can't pronounce it. So now we have this that has to... Why is Tammy bringing it up? This has to dry. Oh, okay, so is this dry? 
Oh, this is not totally dry, but is that a, a glue glob there? Oh, you know what? I think just a minute. Let me see if I can, I can fix it. This little part right here. I'm going to look. my hair. I hope not. It's like totally, total mess. Oh, maybe I don't have to uh, touch it up or something with with a brown marker or anything. I mean, I don't mind doing that, but what is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? My goodness. Where do you get these things from? That just fall from the sky? Or the sky is falling. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. That has to dry. And that has to dry a little bit more. Oh, maybe that came from here. Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, you can... You can really see now. Now you can see how fragile this is. Super fragile. So I might have to do, uh, well, obviously wait for this whole thing to dry and make it, a, it'll be a little bit more stable, <laughs> more protected, I guess is the word. I don't know. But then I can cover this inside with uh, one of these scrap papers do the same thing with the collage stuff. I, I'm not sure I would do that on camera, but I would definitely do it. See, okay, I'm going to put that there. <laughs> I have this sheet. Pretty, pretty, right? It's so big. It's, it's, uh, it's 12 by 12. It's a little more with uh, that white trim on there. I have butterfly. And then this one, I like this one. Oh, maybe that one. Hmm, I don't know yet. <clears throat> I might, maybe I'll go with the butterflies. I have uh, tons more, uh, a lot of different designs, but I just pulled these out because I was going to, um, to do, I might do this one like this, but not, not on camera. And then... Uh, the other ones are for making the hexagonal pen and pencil holder. Okay. Ooh. What do we got here? This one is a little bit more. This is wet. So I'll probably have to come back later today. Well, I'll do, I'll work in blackboard on my course and let this dry. And then come back in to see how we're doing. All right. Oh, that's very light, very lightweight. And I want to be able to show it on the underside. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to hold it. <coughs> Even though it's sticky, look at that. That's from the water. <laughs> that I, Obviously, the crafty cat lady loves water. <coughs> Drink water, it's good for you. Speaking of that... <laughs> So I'll come back uh, a little bit later today, give you an update. I'll be back. Okay, these have dried. I've given them a couple of days. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you what I'm, a, an idea of what I'm going to do with the inside. And then I'm going to sign off on this project and make it part one because part two I want to do I want to cover the inside for both of these and that's going to take a while so I don't want to add any more time to this one it's already been oh man, I'm going to say at least 45 minutes <laughs> of what I did just covering covering this and talking about how I did it and Oh, it's like maybe paper. Oh, paper ripping off. 
Mm, or it might be. Yep. <laughs> That's what it is. A little bit of paper. I'm going to pull those little pieces off. So, not too bad. You can see. You can kind of see. It looks really cool. It looks like little veins and stuff, right? <laughs> and. Now, it's just in the middle of the night, and I held this up in the daytime. I had the camera on. Why did I have the camera on? Oh, it, I had it on Saturday morning, right? Because I had signed off. Not signed off, but I'd shown this. And a little later on, when it was dry, a couple hours later, I decided not to come back in and do the video. Uh, actually, it was several hours later. Uh, then I could see through it like I could kind of like hold it up like this and I could see my hands through it in the daylight and I thought wow look at that but now I can't see that because uh, it's a different lighting so in this one this one's also dry and it's not I didn't cover the inside yet and I today uh, well yesterday morning Monday morning uh, during meeting time, I have to I have to do something. I can't just sit and stare at the person. We ha I had a meeting, and I just can't sit and listen without doing something at the same time, or I will go to sleep. Okay, on this one, so what I did during the meeting, see I got sidetracked. <laughs> I cut out, I, I went through this sheet, I showed this piece of paper on video on Saturday morning and what I did was I just I cut out these butterflies and this one and this one there's one here and three here and I cut those out and set them aside and then I used let me put it right here I used these scissors I use my designer pinking shear scissors they have all different um, patterns on them and stuff and I cut up a whole mess of pieces and those are right here so I have a whole mess of these these pieces so I'm going to use that to cover the inside of probably this one and then I will also cover who knows maybe part three or maybe I'll just cover this one because it's smaller than this one and then I'll just cover this one on my own and and um, if I put pages in it or after I put pages in it and then start filling it up maybe I could do filling it up on on video you know okay so that's what I did with these I just cut up all different shapes and they they have all of the different cuts to them and things like that that was that was great I was able to do that and concentrate on what the speaker was saying and it kept me awake at the same time so that's good too and I I'm tore out a whole mess of pages between the two meetings that we had on Monday and I wanted that's what I want to do with those is turn those into scrap pieces so to speak you know and use those scissors because that was really cool. And I might even do a video on that. Hey, that's a that's an idea, right? That's a separate video. So these, this butterfly has the little ivy leaf, ivy vine here. So I cut that out, and then I use this butterfly. I cut out, and this one is over here. And I decided to put these on here. Now, I could glue these right now, but I am not going to glue those right now. I'm going to do that in the part two video. So, on that note, I'm going to sign off for this one. Oh, I have to do it. I have to do a screenshot, right? I'm going to put this down so it doesn't fall. <laughs> hey, we'll do, I have to take this off. I'm going to take this off and hopefully put it in the same in the same fashion <laughs> and then I'm just going to do this as my picture 
I was testing out, you see those markings, <laughs> glitter, uh, glitter pens, glitter gel pens, and uh, one of the Pentel Sparkle Pops because, oh, that's what I did with this one, so I'll talk about this a little bit. Uh, this one, I added, oh yeah, see the shiny, shiny. <laughs> shiny shiny I added this uh, sparkle pop gold to it and that's really cool I, I like that gave gave it a little pop to it and so that's good oh. Move these back over this way and I want to get I don't want the the glitter markings on my I mean I'm gonna crop this anyway but you know you know That almost seems kind of maybe I should do it like this. Ooh, I don't know. That doesn't <laughs> that doesn't speak to me. <laughs> well, I could do that, but mm, I think I'll just do. I could do this. Look at that. Look at that. It almost looks like it's still wet, but no, that's just wear and tear. I think. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it this way. Okay, that, that looks cool. Although when it comes out from with the thumbnail and stuff, words on it and stuff like that, it's going to be, uh, I'm looking. It's going to, you know, viewers are going to be like, what is that? <laughs> what am I calling it? I don't know. Faux leather paper. <laughs> That's it. Faux leather paper. Okay. Are you ready? Say crafty. Okay, I didn't hear it click. That means nothing really, because it could click when I get into editing. All right, now we're gonna sign off. I have it randomized. Signing off from part one. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Yay! <laughs> have a groovy day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stay tuned for part two.